What's up guys, is it Josh Nipes coming into the brand new video, and today we're taking a look at the DLC leak and some patch notes that are going to be coming out December 13th. Anyway, so let's jump right into the, one of the leaks that actually just came out. So, there's going to be a grenade crossbow, possibly, in our World War One Battlefield 1 setting. It's going to be very interesting. Actually, the picture comes from a supposedly a lead dice artist. I will have the link for that down below. It has since been taken down as I went to go look for it earlier. But I found the picture on other videos or in other places because once you put something up, it doesn't come down. The next exciting thing that is actually coming to Battlefield, possibly from the same artist, is a sniper perch. And they're set up in trees, and you would have expected something like this on Argon Forest, but as we know, we don't have that. So it kind of hints at the fact that there might actually be another forest map. So that's going to be interesting to see. Also, it's interesting that they actually put a sniper perch in this game, because I'm sure that somewhere in history that was actually available to people. So it'll be pretty cool to see that in-game. Next, for my people who are, live in South Africa, Hong Kong, and the Middle East, in early 2017, DICE EA will actually be deploying servers in that area so that it'll make it easier and your ping will be a lot lower and you can actually play the game how it's supposed to be played. There was also already a potential vehicle skins in the game. It was a accidental bug inside the UI of the actual game, but there actually might be vehicle skins in the upcoming patch as well as we know um, premium passes. People who have premium pass will actually be getting 14 superior battle packs throughout the um, four DLC. So that'll be pretty cool to look forward to. Now, as I said earlier, the next patch will arrive December 13th. This will include the map Giant Shadow and its behemoth is actually going to be an armored train though. And that's what we've heard. There will be all vehicles, including boats in the river, so that's going to be pretty cool. And there will be a storm effect included in the dynamic weather. So I'm pretty excited to see another forest type map, because that's what it sounds like it might actually be. Now these patch notes are also from Reddit, and they are not 100% true, but the guy said he trusted who he got his information from. So I'm simply passing on the message, whether it's true or not. So they're also going to do a big focus on the UI of the game. They're going to fix for customization, medals, and battle pack rewards. Those are all going to be reworked and redone, so it's going to be cool to see what they do with that. They're also going to add more custom servers, including custom tick rates. So that's going to be interesting because um, as on the computer, they're all 60, I'm pretty sure, as of right now. Um, when selecting operations, you'll be able to choose which side, attacking or defending. So if you're stuck, you don't want to be stuck on one side the entire game, you can actually switch in mid-game. So that'd be kind of cool, although I think they might run into the problem of people might just be switching because they don't want to play one side or the other. So maybe adding in some sort of incentive or some sort of fix to that might make it a little more viable to be able to switch mid-game. Also, they're actually going to finally fix the quit button, so that'd be kind of cool to see. You also might be rewarded with scrap for being featured on the reward screen, which is that big screen at the very end where about five people get put in, so when they give you whatever reward. Also, some things that are not included in the patch, but they'll be there in future developments, uh, are there will be huge artillery cannons on some of the maps that do not have any sort of real behemoth, where a train won't make real sense because it'll be hard to work it into the map, um, there might not be an ocean or sea because the dreadnought can't come in and an airship might just be too much for the map so it'll be interesting that a huge artillery cannons coming down might actually be one of the behemoths in the future. They're also going to add a dogfight mode and we already saw this way back in the beta but they will add an air superior type mode early in the next year and it will also include airships and there's a rumor that it might actually be a 64 person air superiority so that'll be pretty awesome to see now we're going to be getting four dlc packs throughout the whole battlefield one run they will include 20 different weapons and so that's going to be a little low on the weapons choices towards the end of the dlc so that'll be kind of interesting to see these packs will also include a snow map DLC, so that's going to be kind of awesome because it's going to be like Battlefield 4 where they had a bunch of snow maps that you got to play on. Also, there are going to be three maps that are going to be reworked so that they will be set at night and it's going to be a lot darker and more interesting to see 
a Battlefield 1 at night because I can't even imagine how it would play because we don't have flashlights and we don't have flares so it'll be awesome to see that anyways guys I hope you guys liked the video don't forget to comment down below what you're excited about about the new Battlefield 1 stuff I think it's gonna be awesome and I'm very excited for it anyways guys that's about it don't forget to subscribe and this is gonna be Josh Snipes signing off